If you want to insert mathematical equations into your Scrivener project documents without having to fumble around in the emoji and symbols menu, you can use a third-party program called MathType. Before I explain how this works, I'll load up a blank Scrivener project and go into View, Customize Toolbar. You'll notice that without MathType installed, there's no option to insert an equation. If I open the Insert menu, you'll see there is an option for MathType equation already, but since I don't have it installed yet, Scrivener prompts me to visit DeskSci.com, where MathType is available for purchase or as a 30-day free trial. I'll make sure to close Scrivener, then I can go ahead and install MathType. With MathType installed and our blank Scrivener project reopened, you can go to View, Customize Toolbar, and here you will see an equation icon. This can be dragged to the toolbar, where you can click on it any time to insert an equation into the current document. Alternatively, we can open up the Insert menu as before, and select Math Type Equation from there. Both this menu option and the Equation button will open a Math Type window which specifically relates to an equation from Scrivener. Using the Math Type interface, we can write a basic equation, and once we're done, we simply close the Math Type window. MathType will ask for confirmation that we want to save this equation, which we do, so we'll click yes. This embeds the equation into the current document as a special PDF object, which allows us to edit the equation whenever we like. Double clicking on the equation will open it back up in the MathType window, and I can once again save the changes back to Scrivener by closing this window and clicking yes to save the changes. If you're feeling bold, you can always save that as the default action by checking this box here, so you don't have to confirm the changes every time. It's also worth noting that while Scrivener can change the alignment of this PDF object, you won't be able to change the text formatting using Scrivener's own interface. Any changes to font size and so forth can be made from within the math type interface by going to Size Define in the menus, or double-clicking where the size value is displayed in the footer bar. That's all we're going to cover in this video. If you want to learn more about the features of Scrivener, our other videos should be linked nearby. Thanks for watching, and happy writing!